Mic check, mic check. Come through with a mic check. This is Coach Evans from Tyler Films back again. And today coming at you with a new video. Welcome to Baltimore, Sean Wade. A little bit of um, backstory before we get into the film on Sean Wade. Well, first of all, let me shout out the people that's in here. They're in here live. Uh, 86 Ghosts, uh, Bill, uh, P. Brownie, Thomas, uh, Dubray. I hope I said that right. Uh, and that's all I can see so far. Hey, I appreciate you guys being here and waiting on me. I had to push it back a couple times. Had a few things I needed to do. But I'm glad you guys hung in there with me and, and stayed. But a little backstory on Sean Wade. He's from uh, Jacksonville, uh, Florida. And I had the pleasure of going against him while he was in high school. He was on a stacked Trinity Christian school. And uh, we luckily pulled out a victory versus them. We ran a, um, a bubble slant concept. And Sean Wade and another good corner they had was DB. They jumped the bubble because we had threw it so much. So we hit the slant behind them and then got down in the red zone and scored late to win. But um, the real reason we won that game because we hurt the kicker. <laughs> and they, they, they couldn't punt. They It just was a mess up. But anyway, Sean Wade from Ohio State played um, slot corner last year. Played outside this year, and and the the word is he had a worse year this year because he was outside based off what he had in the slot. So what I did was I got some plays from 2019. I got some plays from 2020. And we're going to go and see what we got out of Sean Wade um, from the Ohio State University. Let's get right into it. Transition film. This the one I want? Yep, this the one I want. Alright. So, Sean Wade. I'm gonna play one. I got notes. Get my notes situated. And we can roll. We can roll. Oh, on the wrong page. And this video should have came to you yesterday. I'm off schedule. But these notes that I'm I'm looking at, I left them at school. So uh we getting it tonight. Again, appreciate you guys being here. Alright. Versus Maryland. This is Sean Wade right here. This is the way right here. I'm going to let it roll and we'll see what he got. Say an edge. I did a good job of holding the edge. And I under, I know he got a flag. The flag's on him, a face mask. But look at him understanding leverage and not letting him get outside. He knows he's the, the only thing outside. He got to force everything back inside. So he's basically the force player. And he got to keep that outside leverage, which he does. Got to keep that outside leverage. Got his outside on free. And then it gets to the point where dude may get away from me. So I better get him on down best way I can. Because if he gets that edge, he might be gone. And I understand he got the flag, but he kept the edge. If that guy could have got outside free, you know, no telling what, what could have uh, happened. But he understands leverage. He kept the edge. And the penalty, it is what it is. It, you know, that's an effort penalty. That's not a, a, a mind fart penalty. That's an effort penalty. And sometimes you just got to live with those. All right, let's go on to play two. Play two, play two, play two. This is against Maryland also. Wade is here in the slot. Remember, all these 2019 plays, he's going to be in the slot. So he's here in the slot. And the reason he wasn't in the slot the last time, because they motioned the guy over. And the run, the, I think it was Okuda that went with the guy. This is Jeff Okuda that was in the league this year. All right, I always have a saying. Zone coverage is still man coverage while the guy's in your zone. This is cover three. And again, this is Wade right here. So he has, he got deep thirds. He got the flats. So while this guy or this guy's in the flats, that's Wade's man. So whoever gets in his territory, which is right here, he got to cover man to man. But it's still zone coverage. I hope that makes sense. He got inside leverage because he don't want nothing to get inside of him. Jam him up right there. Now, with that jam right there, you look into the flats. Nothing is threatening your flats, so you can still work with this guy. And then when he broke to the flats, he got right in his hip pocket. Perfect. So if he throws this ball, he's going to cut it. Perfect position. Now it gets to the point where, you know, 
You really just got to find your guy. Don't let him get away from you, which he did. Good job of sticking to his guy. Now, the guy that caught the ball wasn't his, but it's a good job of playing zone coverage, and especially the hips on the turn. Watch the hips on the turn. Right there. Right in phase. That's perfect. Perfect. Out the slot now. Out of the slot. Let's go to play three. Keep in mind, they, everybody said last year was his best year when he played slot. So that's why I'm giving you slot cover, slot uh, tape. At the top of your screen now. This is play three. And what I got for play three. All right. Let's let it run. It's another good job of understanding leverage. He's the force player, which means he got to force everything back inside so the other guys can get in there. And this is one of our favorite Ravens right here. This is Malik Harrison. He has to, if with this guy coming in motion, and they going to throw it to him, he got to force outside and make everything cut back inside. Got to cut back inside to these guys chasing it down. Watch. Because nobody goes in motion. So he got to get outside because nobody goes in motion with the back. Now, he got to force it inside to Malik, this Malik, and the other linebacker coming. Because if he let him get outside and this dude make the block, again, it's going to be problems. He got outside, and he ain't got to make the tackle. Just force him back inside. And then Malik come in and make the tackle. Understanding force. If you're the force player, be the force player. Make everything cut back to where you help at. Because a lot of people, a lot of undisciplined guys, or shoot that right there and try to go make that tackle. And if they miss, or if the receiver just lets them run inside, now it's one-on-one -on -one with these two. And it's a big play for this guy. But he did a good job of staying outside. Let's go to the next one. Play four. Now this is, play four is against, those first three were Maryland. Play four is against Rutgers. Let me see if I can find Wade on this one. I think this is him right here. So the first three were was against Maryland. This is this one is against Rutgers. They got a little trip set going. So they playing man free, and he he covering the slot. He covering one of the slot guy get, gets an interception. Listen, let me start over. Gets the interception. So again, this is way here. Let's kind of see the peep the technique. Man free. He he covering the slot. Uh, one of their slot guys. Guy gets an outside release. He started just reaching out there, tapping on him, reaching out there, tapping on him, trying to keep him in, keep him where he want to be. Now, initially, the guy got away from him, but I'm guessing Wade has enough speed or is a lot faster than this dude to close it because he closed it real quick. And now he just started touching him, feeling for him, feeling for him, feeling for him. Now, he sees that guy's eyes go up to look for the ball. He turns around and tries to play it because as long as him, tur him turning around to play the ball stops this from being passing interference. Because if he does not, he runs right into the guy that's passing the fence. But the fact he turns and tries to play the ball is not passing the fence. And then it's just tip drill. You're just an athlete then. But it was great in phase. But again, this is Rutgers. This is Rutgers. The other one was Maryland. Next play. Play five is against, this is Indiana, I think. Not Indiana. Is this Indiana? Let's see. Let me let me run this. See which play this is. It must have been. Oh, I know what this is. This versus Cincinnati. That's what this is. It's Cincinnati. It's Cincinnati. Okay. I'm still on track. It's Wade right here. Let's watch it. Coming off the blitz from the from the slot. Strip sack. Strip sack. And we're gonna get an even better view from right here. He's he's over here, not even in the picture. Watch what he does to the tackle. This is a tackle on a DB now. Watch the movie gives this tackle. Quarterback doesn't sit. Now, once the quarterback stopped looking, they stopped looking over there, now he's starting to inch in. And you can see him come out of nowhere. Now, the tackle sees him. Watch this dip. This, this dip's going to be almost like a defensive end doing it. Watch. Whoop. Right by him. He won now. Just with this simple, that dip right there. Now he buying. It's, the tackle's dead in the water right now. All he can do is hold him, which he did a little bit. 
Knock that ball down, strip sack. The only thing we didn't do was pick it up. The only thing he didn't do was pick it up. That's coming from the slot. That's, hey. Hey, somebody days may be numbered. That's all I'm saying. Especially if we can get this kind of production out of the slot. But let's go to the next play, which is play six. I got 13 plays. So now we're jumping into uh, this year, 2020, when he's an outside guy. Uh, this is versus Clemson in the playoff game. He is up here versus number two. Let's see what we got. Oh, I ain't got no notes for these Clemson games. Let's see what we got. Eyes in the backfield. Gives up the out. Eyes in the, I'm trying to see what kind of coverage is What coverage is this? This is... Looks like cover three. Looks like cover three. Did they get some kind of play action on it? That's why the linebackers didn't get out? Yeah. Okay, so he got deep thirds. So technically, he give that up because he got deep thirds. He got to make sure that man don't get over top. You don't have flats on that. So that's just a good play design by Clemson and good good timing too. That's good timing. They thought about on time before he even break. So I had this as a negative, but on second thought, this is he playing cover three, got to play his deep thirds. It's just good timing by um, Clemson and the, whoever the receiver is. Let's go to play seven. Again, at the top of your screen. This is against, I think this kid's name is Powell. I think he got drafted too. Mm. That's what I, this part of this play I didn't like. Make sure y'all can see, y'all can see it on y'all side. Okay, so this is the matchup up here. Mano y mano. Good jam technique. Still in good, still in phase, still where he need to be. Still getting a hand on him, using the sideline. But right here is where it goes awry for um, Sean Wade. Powell, I think, just bullies him. Basically, he just gonna push him out of the way, pushing him back, and cut across the ball. He just pushed him off of him. But other other than that push off, this is great technique. He all over this dude, using the sideline, got him pinned. He just got pushed off at the last minute. Now, what can you do to to prevent that? I mean, I, I don't have a concrete answer, but it's just different. It's different ways to do it. But at the top of the route, you just got bullied. That's all. That man coverage was pretty good until right there at the end. All right, let's go to play eight. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I think this is this is way at the bottom down here, bottom of your screen. Make sure you can see it. Yeah, you can see him right. Nothing wrong with that. In phase. In phase the whole time. Love it. Love it. Running back. Watch this uh watch this turn turning off the hips to stay with the receiver. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's look at the back pedal. Smooth back pedal. Get them hips turned. So I won't give up the fade. Right in phase. Now I get hip to hip with him. I'm hip to hip with him. Hip to hip with him. And it's, it's got a little grainy right here, but this ball is thrown to the guy that Wade, Wade is defending. But he was in great position. Didn't even allow him to come back and get it. Hip to hip. This is a national championship game now, so everybody on this everybody on this field can ball. Play nine. This is versus Alabama. I'm sorry, that was the CFP game the playoff with the four teams everybody can ball now this is against alabama same year let's see what we got this is way down here at the bottom so you got them versus the two best teams in the country uh two of the best teams in the country you depend on what college team you like this is way right here mm. that's on smith now i put this on because thinking that uh smith made a, a a great move on him but this could be cover three again and he getting up out of there. I think this one robber. This might be one robber. And Smith just made a, a hell of a cut on him. 
Yeah, because he's looking in the backfield on Smith Cut. So, yeah, he got if this man, he got to keep his eyes on that guy. They let Peek in the backfield right there. And Smith got a little separation. And did he catch that? Yeah, he caught that. No, he didn't. Ball's on the ground. Ball's on the ground right there. But that little separation, if this man, keep them eyes out the backfield. Keep them eyes out of the backfield if this man. All right, let's go on to play 10. Ways at the bottom of your screen right here. At the bottom of your screen, they got a little condensed formation right here with a tight end and, and a receiver. And this, this uh, who is this? This is a, this might be another tight end right here. Let's see what we get. Oh, they run a duo. That's all this is. Alabama run a duo. Ohio State forced it outside. Again, he the force player. Get Najee on the ground. Hey, get Najee on the ground. That's what you got to do. And we would love to see this during the season. Because Najee playing for the Steelers now. Get him on the ground. He avoids the steal for him. He tries to steal for him. Look at that tackle. He know he knows a big guy. Get them legs and roll. Get them legs and roll. That's, that's all you got to do. You ain't got to, to KO the guy like uh, Joker did, Derrick Henry. Get them legs and roll. But you got to go in swift. You got to start high and go go swift. Luckily, he avoided the stiff on and get and was able to get to the legs and roll. But that's a great tackle. Great open field tackle at that. Great open field tackle. Let's go to play 11. So, again, versus Bama. This is, let me find out. I think this is him at the bottom now here. And I think this is one of my favorite plays away right here. Yeah, this is one of my favorite plays right here. Even though the ball wasn't thrown to the guy he's defending, watch how he navigates all this traffic on this little mesh thing and, and avoids running into people. And is still in the hip pocket of his of the receiver he's guarding. Because there's a guy, he can, he can run into this guy. He's going to avoid that. He can run into this guy. He's going to avoid that. Because that's all he's trying to do is pick each other. Now, nah, he'd avoid two people and look where he at as far as with the uh, receiver. Still right there. That's why this is one of my favorite plays. Because he, he could have got picked twice. But he was able to avoid his guys and stay locked in on the guy he defended. Now, I can't say that for the other guys on his team, but he, he did his job. I right, was going to play 12. Play 12. All right. This is Wade in the slot versus Smith. Now, this one, he technically didn't do a good job of avoiding. But this is a this is the, a plane I pick. And it got called, too. It got called. The tight end just came in, screened him off, and it got over the top. Now, he didn't catch it, but it, this, this still got called. Ain't really much you can do about that. Really much you can do about it. Especially if you don't see it. Five got to call that out. And he may not saw it because it happened so quick. But I know what? Um, I wrote it on my board. And I'm going to use it this year. The same exact play. I just got to find me a good actor to, to play that tight end. I'm using the same play in the red zone. All right, last play. Last play. This is Wade here playing outside. Now, we, you know, the thing is, he's not a good corner player. Uh, you know, he's better in the slot as he is outside. But if you make mistakes while he's outside, this can happen. If you make mistakes and throw something late while he's playing outside, he still has the ability to do this. Crib you. This is a this is a late out. This is a late out route. Ball should be thrown now. He throws it a, a tick too late because the ball the ball should be at the at the receiver now. He's open now. But he throws it late, undercut, to the crib. So all in all, we got a, a guy that can, if Tavon, you know, is not where he needs to be, that can come in and play some slot and you can leave Marlon outside. And um maybe they coach him up enough to be confident with him staying outside. But as far as what I've seen him do in the slot. 
I would like him, you know, to be a slot corner and maybe even be a Jimmy Smith-ish guy that maybe can, in some certain packages, play some kind of safety too. So um, I, I I like the versatility from Sean Wade. You know, uh, I I just I just like the pick. A long a long guy, not one of the small guys that can run. He can he a jack of all trades. He a master of none, but he a jack of all trades. And uh, let me hit this chat box real quick, and then I'm gonna let y'all up out of here. Let's see what we got. Uh, the set the schedule came out. So as far as that schedule. Let me look at. Let me let me look. I ain't went over it like everybody else have. Let me look. I don't want to get no prediction on that yet. But um, looks like we good because y'all talking about the schedule in here. So I appreciate you thirty five that's here with me now, man. This is again. Let me send y'all off the right way. I want to do y'all behind the screen. Send y'all out here the right way. All right, here we go. Hey, this is Coach Evans from Seventy Tyler Films. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I got another video coming up um tomorrow. Um, I forgot who, who it is. It's on my schedule, though, but I'll have it tomorrow. And uh, I appreciate you guys for being here with me, man. Birthday Friday. Peace. Can't wait.